Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Let's do a pilot run. I'm feeling it. Um, I I was gonna go talk to the the hunter guys, but I'm not even gonna depress myself with that. Last I checked, it was like 13 shambling rounds, I think. 13, maybe 10, but I'm pretty sure it was 13. Um. And I know exactly how many runs that's going to take to finish, and that'll be about 50. Because let's be real, I haven't seen any, I don't think, in my last couple of runs. And they do start showing up in the third chamber, Black Powder Mines. So, like, come on, that's... That's a floor I definitely full clear. I don't always full clear bullet hell. When I do, it's usually with a purpose or by horrible, horrible mistakes. Uh, and they can show up in, in bullet hell. So like, yeah, I'm missing out on the opportunity of maybe finding one per run. Oh. Winchester right out of the gate. You know, I'm actually going to go this way around. Because I know this is... I know this has an item room at the end of it. That's my reason. I know kind of what this leads me to. All right. Avoid the ghost. What else is in here? Just some bold bats. All right. Easy enough. Um, a blue chest is gonna be lockpick. Oh, that's the honeycomb. I'm I'm good with that. There's a lot of good stuff that can come. Well, okay. Table tech bees. Like table tech bees is just ridiculous. Cause even if it's not. Uh, well, it might be Table Tech Blank has to be the right synergy with it. I don't know if it works with just any Table Tech items. It probably has to be Blank, because it basically blanks, because all the bullets get turned into bees. That's how that synergy works. Like, all the bullets that are, you know, the enemies have already fired, that's where the bees come from. It took me a little bit to figure that out. So knowing that, that's probably... It probably does have to be Table Tech Blanks. And I feel like I usually have Table Tech Blanks before I pick up the Honeycomb on those runs. Alright. Brown Chest. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lockpick it. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Well, that's alright. It was gonna be a gun. So, like, that's not the worst possibility, I guess. I guess, I don't know what the worst possibility would be. Uh, I shoot it and it explodes? Because then, like, I don't even get anything out of it. Or, it's a brown chest, but I try to use a key to open it, but it's really a mint. Mick? Uh, I want this. I want this a lot. I'm gonna take that. Alright, so I should not have broken that brown chest yet, is what I just learned. Also, she had curse bullets, so there's that. Uh, I really want those curse bullets. Hopefully I can afford those. I did not look to see how much they cost. Ooh, there's one water barrel down. I know that there's another one. It's just a little bit further away. <clears throat> Hold on, how much was curse bullets again? 19. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that, I think. That leaves me a little bit money starved for buying the rat key. Oh, what am I doing? I was gonna go talk to Winchester like I had any money. Um, alright. Let's go. I don't have a whole lot going for me in this fight, just the small amount of damage I picked up from curse bullets, plus the curse I got for picking up curse bullets and specifically getting it from Cursila, you know, adds a little bit to it. Um, but yeah. Still just gotta rock the rogue special for a minute. I should get another gun here off the boss. Hopefully it's something usable. Um, this is the kind of situation I see myself in where I'm like, you know, I think I could work with Hegemony Carbine or whatever. 
I could, I could make that decent. Hegemony Rifle or Hegemony Carbine? I always get those mixed up. It might be Hegemony... Whichever one is, like, blue with the white muzzle, I think. I don't think I'm making that up. I would recognize it immediately. It's, like, blackish blue, sort of, maybe. Or maybe it's just black. And there's a blue background behind it when I look in the Ammo Nomicon. That could be. Or maybe it's blue and there's a back black background. I'm... I'm not sure, but you know which one I'm talking about. The shitty gun. Let's see. Do I get the flawless? Sure do. Alright, that is... Oh, that's the genie. It's not the gun I was talking about. Also, I don't think the genie will find secret rooms for me. And it's such a limited ammo, I don't really want to risk it. I don't think it's in there. It might be here. Also, I need to find that, uh... No, probably not right here. Alright, I'm just gonna blank in the shop. Hope that it's in there. It is not. Uh, it might be in Winchester's room. And again, I think I'm just gonna walk in and blank. Well, hold on. How much is his game? 25? Nope, I'm just gonna walk in and blank. Okay. Okay. Nothing else to do here other than Water Barrel, which was... Aw, oh, crap. Which room was that in? Is that in here? Yeah. Alright, good. Not too far away. I'll push this out of the way while I'm waiting. And I need to be about here, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> I'm glad I found it without too much fuss. Nice. And I saved the water barrel. Check that out. Okay, um... I'm just gonna take one last peek in here. I could afford Casey, but I don't want Casey. I don't want Casey at all. Oh, I went to the way wrong way. Alright, so I'm going to drill that one and use my key on that one. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't mess that up. I thought about switching the lockpicks for a second. I was like, no, 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 no. No, that is mistakes. Lockpicks, I'm not even sure if they'll be used after this point. That might be something that just gets dropped. Okay. Get them, bees. Thanks for the help. Okay, so something else that's really nice with the pilot right now is the shop discount that I get. Now, it doesn't affect the Nod key. I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's still 115. I think that's like the one thing and maybe the, the piece of the bullet that can kill the pass that you have to buy early on. Um, I don't... the arcane gunpowder, maybe? Whatever that is. Oof. Um... I don't, I don't think those are affected by shop discounts, like, you know, disarming personality or, uh, Smiley's Revolver, or is it Shades Revolver? I think Smiley's Revolver gives shop discounts. Okay. It's a little risky, but it's all good. I don't think that dude actually got hit by the own explosion. He might have. He went down with a lot fewer shots than I thought. Okay, let's get this poison going. I'm going to try to lure some of these enemies into it. Yeah, good, the shotguns got in. I think that's a veteran. He's going to take some hits. Uh, I don't know if there's another poison barrel. I think the other one got broken already. Alright, I could probably... Okay, well, I killed the grenades together. I was hoping the shotgun would kind of hang out with them. But he broke off. Oh my goodness. Angry Bullets? Angry Bullets is so good. So good. Hmm. Alright, I know I don't need a key for... I'm just thinking about money, right? I need to buy the Nod key. That really should be my focus. Um, well, I, I guess. It doesn't have to be a rat run. I've, 
not really committed to that at all. So maybe I should just get angry bullets and and just have a good time with it. Oh, I want that. Yeah, that's going to be mine. Also, I love that the drill gets recharged in these fights. Like, in these waves, you're working on recharging the drill. It's like having Ice Cube without ever having Ice Cube. So good. And with good luck? Oh, forget about it. You're having a good time. Alright, here's a secret room. Just a blank, basically. Blank in health, so... If I don't need the health, I came out exactly even on that. This room sucks, um, but I actually have to go this way. And this room is exactly why we don't take the old crest until the very end of the floor. Also, let's be real, I can't be trusted to kill the boss without getting hit. But I can, you know, flawless the third phase of the Lich, but Lobby Lord? That thing scares me. That's not even true. I'm just careless. Probably I'm... Okay, I don't have poison immunity. I don't know why I thought I would. Maybe because I thought I had mon... Maybe because I saw monster blood in the shop. I was like, oh, clearly I would buy that. Uh, anyways, um... I don't know, I just get careless with Lobby Lord sometimes. Uh, this room is annoying but not actually that bad to deal with. There's just a lot of enemies, so it takes a second. But like, I mean, look at what we're dealing with here. The Pupilon is probably the worst to deal with because he likes to camp out in the middle and uh, and just, you know, pulling shots around all of these corners. <clears throat> but like, everything else, it's, it's pretty basic. All right, this wave actually, though, a couple of mushrooms can get scary. Uh, just because the spores, you know, they hang around and then just start moving, so you don't want to stand next to one, but it shouldn't be that bad standing next to one. Because look, they're just sitting there, and then all of a sudden they start flying at you. Okay, that was a little bad. I shouldn't have gone forward there, but it's all good. Okay, cool. Easy enough, and then just a little blob to get it going. Finish things off. Nice. Um, I've not been talking about the Golden Knights lately, uh, mostly because I've been, I don't know, like, a day ahead of myself in recording. Um, so if I say, like, oh, they played last night, really, it would have, you know, it'd be, I'd need to say, like, oh, they played two nights ago, or instead of they played a night, they played yesterday, but then I wouldn't be able to talk about the game yet, so... I don't know, but they, I don't know, they were looking really good. They were on a five-game win streak for a minute there. Unfortunately, that, so it included a win against Vancouver, followed by a win against Calgary, followed by a win against Vancouver. And like, the Vancouver games weren't a huge surprise, but the Calgary game kind of was. And it was, I mean, it was a solid victory. Um, now... That, that win streak was kind of brought to an end by Calgary. They, they played them. They played Vancouver and Calgary twice, basically, within, like, nine days. Or eight or nine days. It was kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, Calgary came back, and it was... I don't know. It was the second game of a back-to-back. -back. So, right there, it's already kind of hard to look at. <clears throat> you know, it, it's hard to think of doing a top job at that level of performance you know, two games in a row like that, it's it's hard. They need a break, right? They're they're out there really giving it all. It's I'm gonna take this, I think. You know, back to back games like that, it, it's never there, there's always a decrease in performance. They played great against Vancouver the night before, but like just could not pull it out against Calgary. And Calgary was looking good. Um I don't know, it was It was fine. <laughs> it was it was a good game, but at the same time, like it was just a little disappointing that they couldn't 
They couldn't bring the win, but oh well. It's alright. Uh, they There's like a several day break for them now. They don't play again until Friday uh, against Dallas, who they also very recently played. Uh, what's in the shop? Oh, angry bullets. I want that. I'm gonna take that and I think monster blood. Oh, I can't take monster blood yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, Mark Stone's looking really good out there. He was, you know, that five game win streak started with him. He finally scored his first goal. Uh, it was like three or four games in for him. Um, but he had some assists in the meantime. Uh, I don't know, there was one game, I don't remember which one, but the only goals were from Golden Knights defensemen. I think it was the first game against Vancouver that they played recently. Um, but yeah, it was like Shea Theodore and Nate Schmidt, I think, were the only two that, that scored. So that's kind of fun and a little unusual. Normally, it's not, like, just defenseman scoring. Yeah, it worked out well. And those two are, like, very offensively minded. There's a lot of times you'll see Nate Schmidt just, like, leading a rush. You know, he'll take it from way back in their own end. Just charge straight through the neutral zone, cross the blue line, and, like, you know, make a really slick pass to whoever else is on the ice at the time. But he sets up the plays all the way from their own end, and that's always great to watch. And Shea Theodore just has a hell of a shot off the point. So neither of those goals is surprising. Um, I know Shea Theodore is like their highest scoring defenseman anyways, so just tack another onto his scorecard. Alright. Also, in, in the meantime of that five-game win streak, Marc-Andre Fleury moved up a spot on the uh, goalie's all-time wins list. Uh, he, I don't know, I think it, it must have been the fourth game of that win streak. He tied for eighth place with Jacques Plant, and then uh, the next game they won, so he took sole ownership of eighth place. Jacques Plant got bumped down to ninth. Oh, Unicorn Horn is actually fine with me because of the curse bullets situation. So that's actually really good for me right now. I'm going to say I'm not doing the rat fight. Maybe if it, before I bought Angry Bullets, I could have done it. Um, but after I bought that, was basically me saying it's not going to happen. Also, I definitely could have used, say, the Magic Lamp against Blobulord to make that a little bit quicker. And I'm realizing now that I should have. But it's all good. I didn't even get hit, so it's fine. I am going to use Flash Ray. Basically just to speed things up a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't want to be using the rogue special when I'm trying to protect the... Never mind. When I'm trying to protect the old crest. But that blobby lord had... Or uh, cubulon, whatever it is. That guy had different plans for me. Okay, this room is weird. I didn't realize that was a pit. Um, so there you go. Old Crest wouldn't have made it much further anyways. Actually, if I still had the Old Crest, I probably would have gone around. I was pretty sure I didn't have to go through that room. And it, that's definitely the case. I probably just would have backed off if I still had the Old Crest. Oh well. One half heart of damage is nothing to cry over. Uh, that's just a dead end. Okay kind of strange. Weird room design. But I guess that happens all the time in this game. There's all sorts of rooms that look like they should have an exit opposite where you start, and then really the only exit is right next to you. The one with the rollers and the smashy walls comes to mind. That platform room, or you know, kind of trap room, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Okay, that was kind of lame. I was... Well, I don't know. For a second, I was a little confused by what was... Why the blobs were dying sometimes one at a time and sometimes more than one at a time. And it basically took until I got hit to realize that that was Angry Bullets, probably. Alright, I'm going to make my way over to this chest over here. See what I can pick out of it. 
I don't know. I don't want to say the the rat dream is over. Like, there's still a very real chance to get, you know, like a hundred money off of one floor. That's not crazy. It's not crazy unheard of. Here we go. What's this? Loot case full of cash? Wow. Briefcase full. Loot bag? No, no, no. Briefcase full of. Briefcase full of cash. That's what I'm thinking of. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. The item you get for the convict's past. That one. The one that just gives you, like, a shit ton of money. And I think some hegemony credits, but I stopped paying attention to those a long time ago. I'm not even sure how many you need for... Uh, tonic the sledge dog to turn gold. I think it's like 5,000 or 10,000. It might be less. Okay, Gilded Hydra is pretty cool, actually. I I like it, but it's not. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it works best at low health, and that's a little weird to think about. Like you don't want to be at low health, but if you have a ton of heart containers. Maybe it's okay to be missing a few. Just to give that gun more ammo per magazine. Alright. There we go. It's all good. Baby, baby. Flash Ray's doing a pretty good job here of just clearing out the floor. Um, at this point, I'm just using it to use up the rest of the ammo. That way, if I come across an ammo drop, it's a clear choice of what to do with it, you know? Alright, I'm hoping, obviously, uh, for more payday items to show up. Uh, one of them showing up is a pretty good sign that you can find the others. Now, oh, hello. I'm not sure why that dropped, but I'll take it. That was weird. Um, you know, maybe it would show up in the the Abbey of the True Gun, which I'm not going to. That is homing bullets. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how that works with the flash ray, but uh, it doesn't. In fact, it might make it worse. But with something like Unicorn Horn, I know what that does. Oh, so good. Um... I did go into the shop. He had, like, a key and maybe some ammo, but I have ammo. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch back to the Flash Ray. Gilded Hydra, I don't know. I, I didn't think I was actually gonna be using that for a while. At least not like this. Okay, I don't think I want to drop anything in there. Hmm. Like, what would I get rid of? The Flash Ray and... I don't know, I could get rid of Unicorn Horn. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the Genie dealing with bosses. Because, like, the Genie's so good at killing bosses. Nice. He's going down. Okay, I needed something. <laughs> I needed help. Alright, so the Genie is not good for dealing with the laser, or the rockets, but it is good for everything else, uh, especially with it bouncing off and potentially hitting the baby, the holsters. Oh, gilded bullets. Um, okay. Very cool. What did that synergize with? Oh, uh, gilded hydra. So that turned some of those shots yellow. But what does that actually do? Hold up. Let me grab my thing. And that synergy was called what now? It was like the Ecstasy of Gold. Yeah, the Ecstasy of Gold. Synergies. Ecstasy. What? Oh, I spelled that way wrong. Okay. Ecstasy of Gold. Uh, increases the damage of the guns by 25%. So it's Gilded Hydra or Old Goldie will set this synergy off. Good to know. 
Um, get my flash ray back out, check the secret room. Eh, it's not there. Maybe? Maybe on the shop? No, definitely not on the shop. I checked the item rooms. <clears throat> I don't know why, that kind of looked suspicious. I don't think it's in here. Um, okay, well, I think I'm just going down to the next floor. Hmm, yeah, I have no idea where else it could be. Obviously, it's not on the item room there, it's not over here. It might be, like, somewhere in this gap. I don't think it's over in this gap. Like, to the right of this one. That doesn't seem very likely. I'm just... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. It's all good. Okay. Down to the mines. And, uh... Let's see. Do I want to stick with... This gun? Or do I want to maybe switch things up with the unicorn horn? Just to give it a go? There we go. It should kill things pretty quickly. Yeah, it's doing a pretty decent job, I would say. And let's go. Here's the rat room, but I have no key. Oh, it's trying to home in on the rats. That's... Uh, that's actually annoying. When there's more than one enemy around. And it's just like, here, I know which one you mean to, to aim at. Oh! It followed the spider in a way I did not expect. Okay. This... I don't think I've ever seen this configuration before. That's kind of weird. Ah. This room is what Unicorn Horn was made for. Uh, excuse me. It's like not aiming. There we go. I just wanted to use it on, on these guys. Because <clears throat> I knew it would shit on them super hard. Okay, and this loops back around to the beginning. Huh. I did not see that coming. Alright. Sorry if the music is driving you crazy. We are almost out of ammo for it anyways, so it won't take that long. Okay. And then, honestly, bouncy bullets would be stupid good right now. Um, I'm tempted to just open that. I really am. Cigarettes might be super good, but I'm trying to think of why. Trying to come up with a reason why I want to say that. I'm just gonna open this normally. Hazmat suit is totally fine. Um, that makes me regret getting monster blood a little bit. I don't know why I felt the need to smash all of those. Cigarettes, mmm, or commando. Mmm, I don't know. I don't know what I want out of those. Okay. Alright, come on. You don't need to curve around the thing. Just hit the other guys that are on the straightaway. The targeting on this is a little bit weird with homing bullets. But I guess that's kind of to be expected. Um, I don't think homing bullets is really intended for that type of use. Obviously it's, you know, it's something they thought of. It doesn't just break the game or soft block or anything. It's, it's something they obviously thought of. They coded something for it to do. It's just weird. It's just a little bit wonky. Alright, kill the mushroom. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Also, I believe the little extra shots out of Gilded Hydra are affected, or they at least appear to be affected by homing bullets. I see explosive decoy in the shop, and I gotta tell you, it's tempting. If for no reason other than I can steal, and stealing gives me curse. Which, I have curse bullets, so I want more of that. Oh man, the reload on this takes forever. That's why it's so good when you have multiple shots, but not really that effective when you're at full health. 
It's just not worth it for me to lose health just for Gilded Hydra. Alright. <clears throat> kill the priest. Kill the kill the little commando guy, maybe. If he'll go. Nice. Picking up tons of keys. I really hope we come across the key merchant. Um, but even then, like, what would he have that I would want? Other than like I I say that, but Lament Configurum, uh, Ballot. Uh, brick of cash, I would take. Um, I don't even care too much about Shelatin Key or A Key 47, other than they work great together. Like, that synergy is just stupid good. Uh, I'll pop this with the drill, I guess. I don't know. I've got keys, but I'm just gonna do this. Especially since I didn't think about it, but like, yeah, I got a Glonstone drop off of one of these rooms for, like, no... just in the middle of a wave. Or, I guess, between waves. It dropped. Look at that. Half heart. I must have some coolness stashed away or something. Especially with Curse. That seems weird. That should decrease my chances of getting drops after clearing the room. Yeah, it's not there. Um... Secret room might be on the shop. I'm tempted to just blank in here. Damn, it's not. Huh. Okay. Let's go with this. Yeah, especially against the tank. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. Look at all these genies coming out to say hello. Um, I'm not sure why they're coming out so quickly, though. I feel like I'm getting some extras that I... And I'm not sure why, unless it's because of Hungry Bullets, and that's possible, maybe? Maybe? I don't even know if that's possible. Like, if they bounced off the tank, onto another bullet, and then back to the tank, does that count? That might be what was happening. Oh, uh, that's the yellow chamber. Okay. Oh, get wrecked, Pedestal Mimic. Get destroyed. You fooled me, but not enough. Okay, that sucks. Okay, I suck. I just wanted to knock him out with the genie. Why is that so much to ask for? Um, I'll stick with the flash ray checking walls. That's fine. It's really not in here either. Really? Like, actually not in here? And it's not on the shop, because I checked in there. Did I only check one wall in here? Did I not check this wall? I don't think it matters. Okay. Um, so... I'm gonna buy this. And I'm gonna use it. Actually, I'm gonna use it in here. I don't know why, I just don't want to piss off the shopkeep. Okay. Oh, you know what, though? I have Gilded Hydra. This might be really stupid, but also kind of maybe good. Let me see how many shots I can get into the Hydra. Mm, that's probably enough. I'm going to do two more. Okay. That's definitely enough. Now, obviously, health pickups are going to bring that back down, but with cigarettes, I can just drop it right back. Oh, man. Like, I don't even need the cigarettes for all that long. I just need it for a little bit, you know? If I get another active item that's, like, really good, sure, I'll drop it. I'll quit smoking. That's fine. Oh, God. I don't want to be in this. Alright, first of all, you gotta go, dude. Also, I used a lot of ammo for this gun, just like... Ah, oh, there we go, nice. Just like, bursting into the room, boom, 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 boom. I could be a little more reserved. And I probably should be. I did immediately smoke the yellow chamber, buddy. Like, he's gone. He died immediately. He was right in front of me when I came into the room. What was I supposed to do? Startled me. 
Okay, these guys do not require anything serious. In fact, I might have enough damage from curse bullets. Yeah, I was gonna say, to just one-shot these with my starting pistol. And that is exactly what happened. Until that dude chewed on me for an entire heart of contact damage. That sucks. Um, yeah, I really can't justify using Gilded Hydra in that room. As much as I would like to try and pretend like, oh yeah, I had to do that. Nah. I'll use it here. These waves tend to spawn... Um, I was gonna say they tend to spawn a little bit more difficult enemies, but that's clearly not the case. They load me up with bulletins right at the get. Oh, here we go. Another key... Why am I getting so many drops off of these? That's just weird. I don't want to seem like I'm complaining about it, but I'm just confused. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Okay, Helix Bullets is in effect. Oh my god, that's horrifying, actually. I'm glad I killed the Red Mage before those bees got to him, though. Because if he could have thrown those bees at me, that is true terror. Yeah, get out of here with, with that. This is so good. The Helix effect on the Gilded Hydra shots is a little bit weird. Uh, just the waviness of it, it's kind of like a shot grub situation. Uh, which makes it... Uh, I don't know. I feel like a little bit both more and less likely to hit enemies. I, although I don't know if that can even be statistically possible. Especially with homing bullets. Like, that should kind of take care of that for me. Oh, good. So the Misfire Beast should go down pretty quickly. I just need to find the real one. And that's a pro- Oh, he came right to me. Hello. Thank you. We got a Gunsling King challenge over here. What's this about? Without taking damage? I could probably do that. I can probably do that. Let me just one-shot that guy, one-shot that guy, not get hit by the ice blocks. Okay, not get hit by the ice block. Alright, this room is actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Yo, give me the hammer. Boom. Hopefully this is the last enemy. Oh, wow. Got him with the double hammer and he still didn't die. That's actually kind of impressive. Maybe only one of them hit. Still. So the triple crossbow just kind of became the, uh... Oh, no. I don't understand what happened there. I expected it to shoot out like six, but it didn't really look like six. I'll take that. Thanks. Uh, rat boots are kind of interesting. I think I'll just buy them. I've got a good amount of money. The ammo is also kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay, rat boots already paying for themselves. What's up? I mean, maybe not all rat. That's one half heart of damage I would have taken there. But still, you know what I'm saying. Coming in strong already. Okay. And the triple crossbow with helix bullets is doing good. I think this will definitely clear out the rest of this floor. Maybe have a little bit of ammo for the next one. Um, and that's going to be fine. These guys, again, they're going to get the, the rogue special treatment. Especially with helix bullets. Oh my god. This is so good. It sucks we didn't fight the rat, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad because I might have died in the rat fight. Like, there's no guarantee I would have made it through the second phase with this setup. Like, maybe the genie would be the, you know, the real saving grace there, but I wouldn't have had helix bullets. Um, I wouldn't have had quite as much curse just yet. I picked up something recently that gave me a little bit. Maybe it was, it wasn't unicorn horn, it was something else. Um... Not cigarettes. Oh, the yellow chamber. 
yeah. I wouldn't have had that yet, I don't think. Okay, come on. You just need to... I could have easily switched over to a real gun for him. I just didn't want to use it on the spent. The zombies. Alright, angry bullets. So good. With all of these crossbow bolts shooting around. Oh, so good. Alright, this might actually be a job for, uh, for my spy. He might have a better line of sight on these guys than I do. Without risk of them, sh you know, popping around the corner shooting in the face. Yeah, get him, buddy. I see that guy working miracles in the corner. Oh, I walked right through some bullets. That's not what's supposed to happen. Just a straight up blue chest? Alright, what is it? Sticky crossbow, synergizing with probably the triple crossbow for triple sticky. Wow. That actually seems really cool. I kind of want to use that. Kind of really want to use that. Okay. Um, the badge is interesting. Blood brooch is also very interesting because of cigarettes. I'm going to buy this and hope that that's not Lord of the Jammed. Nope, it is. Okay. I need to go. Alright, and let's bust out the magic lamp. I need to go. This should be over pretty quickly, though. I'm a little nervous about... Yeah, okay. We made it through that attack. I was a little nervous about that with Lord of the Jammed flying around, um, shooting his nonsense out. But it all seems to be okay. Should be just about dead. There we go. Oh, please, animation. Animation, please. Let me move. Let me move. <laughs> please stop with your death animation. There we go. Oh, Blood Brooch plus Antibody, too. I forgot I had that. Um, and I did not find the secret room, right? Oh, no, I did. It was off the bottom of the shop. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need. So should I... Hmm, I'm cornered. Hold on, I'm trying to think if there's something I should drop to get rid of a little bit of curse. Like, maybe Unicorn Horn? I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. That's alright, I'll just drop that and hope that it's enough. Hopefully this puts me just under 10. I hope. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. If I have to go through this whole floor with this guy on my, on my tail... Oh, I think that did it. I think that did it. Good. Unicorn Horn was a good choice. I used it for a minute, and then uh, got rid of it when it became in danger. Oh yeah, and I can just walk over gaps. Oh, so good. Thank you, Rat Boots. I always appreciate that. I don't have a ton of money right now, but I'm probably going to face off against more jammed enemies, and they do drop more money. So, I've got some hopes. I just say that because uh, the blacksmith usually has quality goods at quality good prices, which means expensive. Expensive shit. Alright, I think that guy's dead. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, he's not. I'm pretty sure I'm getting... Uh... Oh, that's empty. Well, no, it's not. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm getting explosive damage with some of these... Or maybe with all of these crossbow bolts, and that's awesome. Yeah, definitely, that's what's happening. They explode on reload, just like the sticky shock or the sticky crossbow. So if you load them all up with a bunch of crossbow bolts and then reload, boom, they're all exploded. That's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. Mm, we'll open it. It's not great. 
Demon Head is probably not going to get much or any use. I'm going to go up here. What does this even look like with... That looks awesome with Helix Bullets. It, I'm sure it's still pretty bad, but... Actually, it cleared out that room pretty quickly. I'm a pretty big hater on Demon Head. I don't generally care for it. But... This looks nuts. That looks so cool. The damage still, like, isn't great. But I think it's helped out a lot by Curse Bullets and, uh... I think Curse Bullets. And just a bunch of Curse. I dig it. Here, let me do that. Then I can pretty safely stand right here. Until the table breaks. Because I didn't... Uh, excuse me? What is... That must be some effect of, like, Angry Bullets trying to do something with the beam. I don't know. That was weird. It was just, like, curling around on itself a bunch of times. There had to be a couple enemies there, I think. Alright, fine. They got me. Okay, I want that just because I always want that. You're not a mimic, right? Okay. Machine pistol is fine. It's not bad. It's I mean, I was maybe a little more excited than I should have been when I saw it. So, like, ooh, machine pistol. It's okay. I'll uh I'll fiddle around with it for a second. Okay. That might actually be a fun idea for a run. You can only use the last gun you picked up uh until it runs out of ammo. That might be really hard. Uh, and then, you know, you can only use whatever gun hit, like, you know, when that one runs out of ammo, you have to just hit the next gun over, maybe? I don't know. I'll think about that. Oh, uh, that's a challenge shrine right next to it. Oh, and Goopy's in the secret room. Huh. Alright, I've got five keys. I can open this. Sure. So, like, right now, I would have to use Hexagon. Now, I'm not doing that, but... That might be fun for a run. Okay. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that at all. <clears throat> I didn't think about... I, I was focused on avoiding his bullets. I didn't think about the bullets that were going to shoot back at me from the wall. I don't know why. It's like I've never fought that enemy before. It's like I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Okay. Um, there is enough money for gold ammo lit. But I guess before I buy that, I should see what Gupton has in his shop. That's a mimic. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. It is a bad gun, but not a mimic. Huh. Is it here? No. Is it in this room, then? Must be. Ooh, I don't want that as my gun. I really don't. Um, okay, I appreciate the effort. How is it not in here? Oh, maybe it's right here? Huh. I don't know, I'll figure that out in a minute. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna pepper these guys with shots try to anyways. Oh, I have rat boots. I really need to stop forgetting about that. Okay. I I do like that my buddy is like trying to follow me and help me out, but he's not actually helping me out. And that's kind of a problem. Um maybe flame hand would be better. Getting the like kind of the curve in there with the helix bullet. I don't know. I got it dead. I killed them all. We're fine. Nice. That wave went down a lot quicker than I expected. Okay, seriously though, where is that secret room entrance? If it's not right here, is it actually like a stupid long hallway going all the way right here? That's not possible, is it? Oh no. 
No, no, no. It's right there. Okay. I was gonna lose my shit. I want Gundramada strain. Fact. I want that. I've got plenty of time on this floor to earn the couple bucks I still need for it. But yeah, I'd much rather have Gundramada strain than gold amulet. Unless I open up this other chest and it is something that lets me just generate blanks. If it's table tech blank, that's really good, but if it's like Daruma, Daruma might be like the best. Um, and it would have to be a gun, right? I already picked up, or it would have to be an active item, or, or a passive item maybe. I already picked up a gun on this floor from a chest. I picked up two guns on this floor, I think. I don't know why I'm still using flash ray. Like, something like this is so much better. And by this, I'm, I meant to pull out literally anything but this. Um, I'm going to stick with triple crossbow, though. Mostly for the explosions. I've got a jammed dude on my side. That is what's up. Alright, still need to come back around this way. So maybe I'll wait on buying Gundramada Strain until... I clear out this corridor. But I might have to anyways, I still need a little bit of money. Alright, that is not how I wanted that to go down. Obviously I would have liked the enemy to have died before my friend. Nice. Um, back up to full health. Could just do that. Okay, this room I can just run straight through. No problems. I'll use a real key for no reason. Table Tech Rage. Hmm. Uh, I already found the secret room. I don't need to check that wall. That's kind of interesting. I'm definitely going to just stick with my original plan, though. Grab this. I can't afford that. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess I will get this then. So you don't get money for fighting the dragon. Although I could just save my money because I have gilded bullets. So that'll just add... I forgot about that for a minute, actually. I think I'll just save my money then. That's fine. I would have liked Gundramada Strain. That's a jammed dragon, huh? That sucks. Um, I should really be using... Where'd it go? This guy. Maybe I'll bust out... Uh, ooh, I was gonna say maybe I'll bust out Gilded Hydra on the last phase, but I don't know if that's actually a good idea. Because I'm only going to have three shots per magazine in it. Ooh, I hope I actually have enough ammo for this. I know obviously I don't need to break his whole health bar, but... Um, you know, before it goes to the next phase, but it's going down a little bit slower than I would have liked. I'm using up a lot of ammo for the Magic Genie here. Obviously, I'm not worried about dying here. I'm way more... Oh, I've already healed up the damage I took in this fight. So I should definitely just pop cigarettes a couple of times. Ha! <laughs> Or maybe I should have waited a second. Oh well, it's all good. It's totally fine. Actually, I could be popping cigarettes during all of this and rack up Gilded Hydra shots. I, this seems really stupid, but I think it's okay. I think it's all good. Then I just run over here and unload like that on him. Oh, he's so close to death. If I had maybe... I'm, I'm not going to do it now, but... If I had maybe taken off another heart, or a heart and a half of health for uh, using cigarettes, maybe... With those couple extra shots, I could have finished him off in that first phase. Needed one more hit after, you know, that reload with a couple extra shots. I think I needed three more, af like, after I reloaded. So close. Yeah, I didn't get any money. 
Alright. Basically out of ammo for the Gilded Hydra at this point. Maybe I'll get an ammo drop from Bullet Hell, but I'm not really expecting anything like that to happen. It's not the most likely thing to occur. Okay. Last chamber. Sixth chamber. Let's go. Um, Gilded Hydra. I think I'm actually gonna hold for the Lich fight. So let's use stuff I'm definitely not going to fight the Lich with. Like Demon Head. That's not gonna happen. Let's try to use up this ammo. Oh, that... Wow. 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 I got lucky. I got stupid lucky right there. I definitely should have been hit by that jammed bullet. But I will take it. <laughs> I will gladly take that. Okay. That guy's dead. Oh, it's just this gun cultist. Okay. It's because he was jammed, I think, that it took so long. My buddy over here is jammed, though. Oh, but so is his foe. Okay. Let's move it along. Uh, oh, Gilded Bullets is going to give me such a nice damage boost by the end of this floor. Like, fighting the Lich, I'm probably going to be at about 250, I would say. Maybe. Maybe more if I go down a couple of wrong paths. But I'm feeling pretty good. It's a really long floor 90% of the time. There are a few cases where, you know, there's only a few rooms between you and the Lich. You know, maybe a dozen or so. Nah, dozen sounds like a lot. Maybe like eight or nine rooms. It's probably the shortest I've seen. And that's, you know, if you go optimal path first time. So like in this case, obviously I went the wrong way there. You could have gone this way and around. And that would be quote unquote wrong. Technically not wrong because you... You're still going to get there eventually, just a little bit longer. Probably not going to use Flame Hand against the Lich. Same with uh, Flash Ray. That might be the next one I pull out. This is horrifying. Holy crap. This room sucks. Um, I am expecting to heal up a little bit, though. So at least I've got that to look forward to. Hmm. Yeah, oh, oh, the Reaper is charmed. That's actually kind of nice, because I can't just kill that enemy. You know what I'm not going to use against the boss? Is Hexagon. And that might be the best gun for me to use to clear out the floor, like, realistically. I think this is probably what I should be using. I'm just picking pads at this point. I don't even know where I'm going. Um, yeah, the problem with the summoner being charmed is that the skeleton isn't charmed when it gets summoned. So that's kind of bad. Okay. Um, oh, there's a jammed chicken over there. That's probably, if I had to guess, a angry bullet situation. Okay, jammed chicken. Do not run up and attack me. I see you, I respect you, I fear you. Please do not attack me. Because the jammed chickens can do contact damage, I am pretty sure. Um, and as I am not playing as the bullet, I still take contact damage. And since it's jammed, I'm pretty sure it's a full heart of contact damage. It's happened. It happened to me earlier in this run. Uh, not against a chicken, but against something else. I don't remember. A spent, maybe? Alright. The big one's down. I'm healing up quite nicely. So maybe I will just continue to clear out these rooms for a little bit. Uh, does he just, like, smother his friend? Will he ever kill that enemy? I don't think so, right? Like, probably not. 
maybe the bullets that explode out of him after he dies will hurt my enemies. Seems like it. But not the contact damage. That's kind of interesting. This game has so many possible interactions between objects that it's... I don't know, it's kind of a lot to think about that if someone had to figure out how this stuff was going to interact with everything else. Um, I don't know where the Lead Maiden's bullets are going to go, and that freaks me out. I don't trust that they're actually homing on to enemies. I expect that they still are targeting me, and that's upsetting. I don't like it. Okay, Maiden. Alright. Oh, at least I get a shambling round. I assume that counts. I hope that counts. Okay, I am back at full health. Just something to note. Um, I don't know why I feel the need for coolness. Maybe that's why I was getting... I didn't think about it. I've been getting really weird uh, room drops. Like, I feel like I'm getting a lot of them. Duh, I'm popping cigarettes. Like, a lot. <laughs> I should be getting a bunch of room drops. In fact, why am I not getting more chests as room drops? Why am I only getting blanks? You know, I should be more mad about this than I am. Uh, also, I definitely lowballed with, uh... Hold on, where's Flash Ray? I'm not gonna use that. I definitely lowballed when I said 250, huh? Oh, well, actually, I guess not that badly. I think I'm gonna... No, I'm going to fight the boss, and here's why. I've got a good amount of ammo in Gilded Hydra. If I get hit, good. Even better. Um, and then if I heal, then I just heal. Like, fine. Good, that's not a terrible thing. Maybe I'll miss out a little bit of the ammo, but that's okay. I'll just take some more damage. I've got cigarettes on me. I've got this pretty decent little cycle going on here. Although, it is really only going to work during the first phase, I think. I'm going to run out of ammo here too quickly. Like, I've got six more shots for Hydra. That's alright. Uh, what am I going to use after Hydra? I'm all out of genie shots, aren't I? Yeah, pretty much. I guess I'll pop those last three shots of the genie. Switch over to... I don't know. We'll see. I've got some stuff. Okay, there's Genie going off. Um, Flame Hand? I said I wasn't going to use this against the boss. But I've got ammo for it, so... You know. I'm going to use it. It's fine. Slowly taking damage, slowly healing it back up. I'm pretty sure I just took damage and healed it immediately. Okay, Flame Hand actually stood up pretty well against the second phase there. Third phase, I might just blow up with a hammer. Like just... Brrr, brrr, brrr. Or Sticky Crossbow? That seems really good. Um, yeah, that actually seems to be working out quite well. Nice. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed for this phase. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down very soon. Maybe this clip will do it. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that was quite an interesting run. Um, honestly, uh, angry bullets and homing bullets, I feel, didn't play nearly as big a part as, say, Helix Bullets and Curse Bullets. And normally I am all about homing bullets and angry bullets, and if we had gotten scatter shot, I would have thrown that into the mix. You know, I like those kinds of bullet modifiers, um, but just the, the straight up damage increase of Gilded Bullets and Curse Bullets makes just about any gun really, really usable. You know, I killed the Lich with 
fireballs and uh, I mean Gilded Hydra is really good. Um, but like, you know, Flame Hand is mediocre at best. Sticky Crossbow should not be that good. But with the triple uh, the triple sticky whatever it is, uh, synergy with the triple crossbow, that plus Helix Bullets plus all the damage from Curse Bullets and Gilded Bullets. It's at the end there, how much money did I have? Like, almost 300? I don't know, there was a lot going on here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and then come on back later when you got some more time, check out another video. And most importantly, have yourself a great day, and I'll see you around next time. Bye!